Film Museum. Limited tickets available. Buy yours today. Replacing your windows and doors can be life-changing. Inspiring you to live a healthy, happy life. And Marvin Windows and Doors bring in daylight and fresh air. Blending the indoors with the outdoors so you're always connected to nature. They're designed for life with an inspiring range of options to create the look you want and the lasting quality you need. Your local independent Marvin dealer will give you straight answers and advice about window and door replacement. Our Marvin specialists help you plan your project and select the right products for your needs. You'll always know what you're getting with a detailed proposal to make the whole process easier. Schedule your free consultation today at ReplacementMadeEasy.com. That's ReplacementMadeEasy.com. Florida estates. 
The hearing will have news organizations, including CBS News, arguing that the public interest in this matter is so great that the Justice Department's concerns about potentially interfering with its ongoing criminal investigation should be overcome. Federal prosecutors have said in their filing that the release of the FBI act by naming witnesses who have been interviewed in the investigation. White House monkeypox coordinator Robert Fenton says nearly 2 million additional vaccine doses are heading into the pipeline and a new effort will get doses to major LGBTQ events. This is important. It's innovative. The way that uh, we will bolster to meet people where they are and mitigate the spread of monkeypox. Calls for Californians to conserve electricity with a heat wave intensifying. The Weather Channel's Jim Cantori says triple-digit weather will hit several western states. This is going to go really this heat right in through the weekend here. Unfortunately, not a big break coming. Places like Yakima, Washington, Redding, Oregon, Boise, and Idaho all could set records over 100 degrees. Just absolutely baking heat here. Well, there's concern in a scenic part of northern California. The water in Lake Merritt, a tidal lagoon connected to the San Francisco Bay, has recently turned reddish brown color. Daily dog walker Jessica Ekstrom has also noticed the rotten egg smell getting worse. And my neighbor actually said that every single morning she wakes up. But it's the lake. Other parts of the bay are also turning brown. What may be a spreading algae bloom. Pete DeQuincy with the East Bay Regional Parks District says the blooms are often caused by heat and a lack of water. It's going to be an ongoing factor that we will need to address when it comes to climate change. Matt Bigler for CBS News, Oakland. Checking Wall Street right now. The Dow is down 13 points. The S&P is up 19 and the Nasdaq 49. This is CBS News. Liberty Mutual your car and home insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Visit LibertyMutual.com to learn more. It is 9.03 at the Bay Area's news station, KCBS. Expect mostly sunny skies throughout the afternoon today with highs from the mild to hot range. Good morning, I'm Melissa Kalroff. And I'm Eric Thomas. Here is what's happening. Well, let you know, there's just cross suppressed that uh, Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson has reached a, an agreement with the league and will serve an 11-game suspension and pay $5 million in fines. Originally, he was uh, given a six-game suspension, but the NFL appealed that, and uh, that's what we're getting, an 11-game suspension this season. And we'll get more on that in sports coming up in uh, about 10 minutes or so. Northern California's erratic weather patterns have prompted the state to pre-position extra resources in a number of counties in order to quickly respond in case a wildfire sparks. KCBS's Mike DeWald reports this comes amid a continued threat of dry lightning strikes. On top of the triple-digit heat in some parts of the state, critical fire weather has also posed a consistent threat in Northern California. Dry lightning, winds, and the fuel conditions all made for very very dangerous That's Brian Marshall. He's fire and rescue chief for the governor's office of emergency. Now a common practice for local fire agencies, Cal OES is also deploying resources to five California counties, including Sonoma County as well as Chico. It allows a greater chance of containing that fire and controlling it while it's still small before it becomes a devastating disaster. Water tenders, Marshall says dispatchers are also being deployed. So as fires break out, we can rapidly move these pre-positioned resources to where they can be most effective. Lightning sparked fires can sometimes linger and smolder before they ignite. That's why crews will remain even after a weather system passes. Mike DeWald, KCBS. The battle continues against the 26,000-acre Six Rivers Lightning Fire in Humboldt and Trinity Counties. That fire started nearly two weeks ago as 12 separate lightning spark fires in the Six Rivers National Forest. It's now about 33% contained. Meantime, the McKinney Fire near Orica in Siskiyou County is now 95% contained. And the nearly 8,000-acre Yeti Fire near Happy Camp west of the McKinney Fire is 90% contained. This morning, the Big Ten struck a massive $7.5 billion TV deal after adding U.S. late to the conference. However, as KCBS reporter Holly Kwan tells us, the UC Regents meeting this week 
still are mulling over possible ways to block the Bruins from bailing from the Pac-12. And this is the reason UCLA suddenly bolted in June for the Big Ten. More nationwide TV exposure, and now this big contract gives it even more ammo to beat back any attempt by the Regents to block the move. The Regents meeting this week say all options are on the table, and it does retain the power to tell individual campus chancellors to back off any unilateral plans, including a conference switch. State School Superintendent Tony Thurman sits on the Board of Regents. The reality of our student athletes being able to do anything related to academics when they're doing this kind of travel with the time difference and the jet lag and then practicing when they get to the destination, those are difficult circumstances to pull that off. I'm not saying that someone's not going to do a little bit of reading on a plane, but I, I think we student athletes are going to need other types of accommodations to help offset this is a lot of travel. A report to the regions yesterday suggested USC's move to the Big Ten would mean a loss of nearly $10 million in annual media rights to each of the rest of the Pac-12 schools. If UCLA leaves, that would add another $3 million loss with the biggest hit coming to UC Berkeley. And UCLA to the Big Ten delivers that conference the second largest media market in the country. Paul Laquan, KCBS. Just ahead on KCBS, word the Secret Service set on a pre-insurrection threat against House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. KCBS traffic and weather time. We start with the roads in Kim Wonderly, and she begins in San Mateo. Yeah, actually, it's the San Mateo Bridge, and it looks like we have a crash here as you make your way out toward the high rise. This is westbound, pointed toward the peninsula. Uh, CHP is reporting a three-car crash. No lane information yet, but we can see the traffic comes to a rather abrupt halt as you get a little bit beyond mid-span, again, approaching the high rise. So a delay here while the crews work to try to clear this. Also, we've had a problem on westbound Interstate 80. This should start to loosen up now. Westbound 80, though, at San Pablo Dam Road. Uh, crash just recently cleared out of the left lane. It sits off to the right shoulder. Now, traffic, though, is backed up all the way to Highway. And we're getting word of a new crash in the North Bay in Napa County. This is affecting Highway 29 uh, at North Cali Road on the northbound side. It's a semi-truck and a service patrol vehicle. This is off to the shoulder for now, but uh, since there are injuries reported in this crash, we may end up seeing a lane blocked once the emergency crews get on scene. Traffic is uh, slow from Highway 12 anyway on the northbound side of 29. We see that with the uh, Chilton Auto Body Collision Cam. Your next update's at 918 on the track. Traffic leader, We're going to have sunny conditions around most of the Bay Area, partly cloudy at the coast, uh, as we have been having for days now. Highs will range from the 60s Oceanside to the 70s and 80s around the Bay to near 90 in Near 90 is cooler than yesterday, and tomorrow will be even cooler with inland highs reaching up into only the mid 80s. Traffic and weather together on the 8th. News 106.9 and AM 740, KCBS. At Whole Foods Market, get organic black grapes for $2.49 a pound through August 23rd while supplies last. Plus, client members save an extra 10%. Promotion varies by location type. See terms and exclusions on our app. Eager to have friends and family over for a barbecue, but are embarrassed about the condition of your yard? It's time to call Mr. Favors. Mr. Pavers can transform your backyard into your own personal paradise. You can get outside, enjoy the sunshine, fresh air, and nature in your own private sanctuary. From backyard patios to pool decks, outdoor kitchens and driveways, Mr. Pavers can design and create your dream hardscape. And you'll be surprised at how affordable it is without sacrificing quality. Mr. Pavers is diamond certified and an ICPI installer. Book a job before the end of the month, and you will receive 20% off and free demolition. Call Mr. Pavers at 8. Mr. Pavers. That's 833 Mr. Pavers or go to mrpavers.com. Make your outdoor space freer with Mr. Pavers. Call right now. 833 Mr. Pavers. 833 Mr. Pavers or go to mrpavers.com today. Get out of the house and enjoy all that your beautiful outdoor living space has to offer with Mr. Pavers. Thinking of selling your house, but you don't want to deal with repairs, clean Realtor photos and showings? With John Buys Bay Area Houses .com, you don't have to do any repairs or pay any commissions. Call 510-426-7000 and John will give you a 